Welcome back to Rebuilding Silverwood. This is Swag, and on today's episode, we're going to take a look over here. Uh, this is like an all-you-can-eat barbecue picnic area, and there's a restroom right over here. So we're going to get into it. I think this is going to take longer than you might think. Building a bunch of buildings without rides or anything else in context is a little bit tougher than uh, I'd like to, like to imagine. So we're going to get into it.
now that the restroom, or sorry, relief station is complete and the first sample of the covered eating areas is complete, we will focus on duplicating this building and moving on. You'll see I uh, did change the fencing in this area. I think the wooden fence looks more like what they have in the current park. And overall, the aesthetic I think is gonna come to be together better with, with fencing instead of the curb, like the brick curb. So we're gonna keep on going. more buildings down and just to put a little more uh, thought or maybe not thought but like ideas behind this these are park benches like eating benches where you have the long tables with just benches on the side there's not a great way of doing this you can use benches in the uh, scenery pieces but the benches aren't long so it does look kind of odd I think this is the best we came up with Hex and I were just looking at it 
and I think it comes across okay, especially when you're looking at the park from further away, and it's sort of just something on the side, like not your focal point. But yeah, it's uh, four buildings down. I think we got one more to go, and then of course the main barbecue building. Okay, you've seen me uh, finish up this building over here. This is sort of like a larger version of the rest of the buildings. And then you saw me building the uh, barbecue building for a while. I had not found a very good solution to the build so far. I started building the pathway a little bit more. There's a sort of a small little bridge that goes over a little creek. This area has like a water uh, basin and this is a water basin and there's another path that sort of comes across. So I decided to build that and then start building the facade of the building. I think I got too carried away with the overall shape being accurate to the real life 
building when in fact it's probably better to focus on what looks good in RCT. So I'm going to keep on building this building. We're going to see how long it goes. It might be the end of the episode so that I just have a speed build and you see the rest of the building. Um, we'll find out. I think this is a long one. Uh, as I've edited this video, I think it's the longest episode yet, and I don't want to make you guys bored by just building buildings. <laughs> Buddy. This was a grind, so you will have noticed I stopped recording, and we were we are skipping to the finished product. <laughs> um, you know what? It's a realistic part of building an RCT is you spend many many hours on something as simple as a building to get what you want. If you're going for the top of the tier, the cream of the crop, the best you can possibly do, you got to work hard. And this is it. It is a barbecue restaurant, all you can eat, and uh, <laughs> it's just a brown building with a black roof, man. Nothing crazy, but you know what? It fits the area. I think it looks nice. And once we add foliage and add some uh, fences and uh, more pathing, it's going to look like a really clean area. In the end, we'll probably have some... Uh, peeps running through the area. I think I'm gonna put an invisible ride in here so that we can have like a line coming out the front because apparently there would be a line for the barbecue. So if that's part of the the game or part of the the world that we're building, then we'll have to do it in a later episode. So yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see what we're gonna do in the next video. I'm not too sure. Guess you'll find out.